We have been reporting here on the dozens of cargo ships waiting off both coasts. Tonight, the warning about what's to come and what we're seeing in stores already. And the advice we heard for shoppers going into the holiday season, it got our attention today. Here's ABC's Kaylee Hartung. Tonight, empty shelves lining more stores nationwide. Some retailers complaining product shortages are becoming as bad as they were at the start of the pandemic. Costco once again limiting purchases of toilet paper and paper towels. From Nike to Apple, American businesses feeling the pinch. The Delta variant hitting Asian economies hard, meaning fewer goods are being produced. I'd get going right away. Uh, I mean, if you want uh, something under the Christmas tree, the proverbial tree, uh, you might want to start shopping now because it's going to take some time to get it delivered. COVID-19 disruptions causing a lack of workers at every part of the supply chain. Fewer dock workers and truckers means record bottlenecks of cargo ships off both coasts. Whether you're waiting on that couch you ordered to get delivered or maybe trying to get ahead of your holiday shopping, those goods might be stuck right here between the port of Los Angeles and here in the port of Long Beach. Nearly 100 ships are out here just waiting for a place to dock. Dozens more stuck waiting off the ports in New York and New Jersey. With demand remaining strong, major retailers like Walmart and Target are even chartering their own ships in order to stock their shelves. David, there's such a bottleneck of ships in Southern California that they don't expect operations to get back to normal until at least early next year. David. Yeah, but we'll be watching this in the months to come. Kaylee, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.